Hello, it's Nico with Food Cravings and today we're making Tomatillo Sauce, also known as Salsa Verde and I'm gonna show you my take on this classic condiment which will be a tasty addition to any Mexican entrees. This is a very simple yet versatile recipe. We're gonna start with some tomatillos, rinsed and thoroughly washed, also the green husks removed, along with two serrano peppers for some heat. Now on to the next step. I've started by placing the tomatillos on a grill guard along with the serrano on high heat. Now we'll just let them roast and do their thing until we move on to the next step. We'll also need some lime and some garlic cloves. As the tomatillos continue charring, you can see they've started to develop a crust on the side. It's time to flip them over, as I've done here. For the next step, in my food processor I placed some cilantro and the garlic cloves down. Now we're going to hit that with some lime juice. And here's a pro tip. To get all of the juice of the lime, make sure you pop that into the microwave for about 14 seconds so that it can release its juices easier, so you're not struggling. After getting the rest of the lime juice, it was time to add the onion. And to that I added the tomatillos, whole, because they're already going to be blitzed and pulverized in the food processor. So I guess you can count this as a pro tip. Here I hit it with some salt. And you'll want to use tongs for this, obviously, because they're really, really hot. But I used my hands, so I added them in one by one, tucking them in gently, side by side, so that they don't overlap the center of the blade holder. Once that's done, I decided to hit it with a little bit of cumin. What this will do is help round out the tanginess of the tomatillo. Here I decided to add some vinegar to it as well to balance out the sourness of the lime. And then you counterbalance that with adding some water so that it's not too acidic. Here I let it rain. Just to let you know, once all that gets incorporated, the flavor profile is going to be awesome. And I added the rest of the onions. You want to just quarter them roughly. You don't have to dice them or anything because they're going to get pulverized already. Once you're done adding all the ingredients, it's time to give it a whirl like I did here. And I let that go and go round and round until everything was chopped, pulverized, diced, creamed and pureed roughly. You could also use a blender for this. But anyhow, after all that's done, at the end result, we have tomatillo sauce. And I dished some into a separate bowl, accompanied by some tortilla chips, at which time I decided to go in for a taste. At first bite, the tartness of the tomatillos, combined with the heat of the serrano and the savoriness of the onion, made for a great flavor profile. And I personally like to use this type of salsa on burritos and especially carne asada tacos. So if you're like me and like spicy food, give this a try. And before you go, remember that I can't grow my channel by myself. So please take the time to like, subscribe and share the video with your friends. Thank you. For ingredient amounts and more info, please visit www.chefnico.blogspot.com. Bon appetit, enjoy and see you soon.